We're now going to have a quick look at how you can edit your templates and in some cases you may find things happening which you maybe didn't expect. So let's just have a quick look and see what happens when we change, for example, a code that has been assigned to our template. So the first code here on the left hand side, I'm just going to change that to something else and press enter. As I do that, you'll notice that the subgrade is removed from the first section and then consequently the curb as well. If I put it back again, you'll see that the subgrade is reinstated. Now the reason why it's removed is because the co-combination between centline and LEOB has had no subgrade assigned between it. If I change it back to the original code combination, the software remembers that we've had subgrade assigned between the centline to the LEB code. It's also logged in the background that between LEB and the LBK code that there is a curb shape. And that's why again we've got subgrade. So as soon as we change that LEB to something else, that code combination gets changed and it's no longer applicable. So if we had to make a change to one of the codes, how can we overcome not having any subgrade? So we're going to show you an example now of how we could, this can be managed. So I'm going to change the first code to LEOB. Based on what we know, if we want to add or edit subgrade between a section, all we do is simply go down to Edit Section. So I'm going to click on that button, click OK, and then left click somewhere within the section that's currently not got any subgrade and in there we can very quickly assign a layer very quickly just a, a small layer of subgrade now I don't want to assign these to both sides however if I was going to change the right sided code on the opposite side of the template to the say code combination then I could apply this to both sides click on apply and exit and if for whatever reason I change it on the right side now which I may do you can see that it's applied that subgrade instead now what I'm going to do is now get the subgrade back in for the curb. To do this I'm going to click on Edit Curb, click OK and click where the curb should be. We're prompted with a slightly different message this time and this is because we can create a curb between two any codes that we want. So what I'm going to do is say the first code on my curb instead of LEB is now LEOB and the last code on my curb is LBK. Click OK. And in here, we can go about creating the same details as we did with the original curve. Now, I'm just simply going to assign just one value in there. Click on Apply and Exit down the bottom. And again, if this code combination was being applied on the right-hand side, we could say Apply to both sides. doesn't really matter. Click on Apply and Exit. You can see I've got that curve shape being added in. So it's important that we understand if we do go ahead and start changing codes, the combination into which the subgrade has been assigned will obviously be changing and therefore we'll need to reassign a subgrade for the actual section or for the curb if we need. If at any point we want to add in an entry somewhere in between the different codes we can use the add entry button and if we want to remove a particular line of code from either side independently we can use the remove entry button. Remove all subgrades will remove the subgrade from the entire design so um, use that one obviously with caution as and when you need it. We're going to change the code combination back from LEOB to LEB and press enter to reinstate that original set of codes and subgrade. Click on OK to close the form. 